The Tea Horse Trade Road, also known as the Ancient Tea Horse Road or Cha Ma Ji Yu Dao in Chinese, is a historic trade route that played a pivotal role in the exchange of goods and culture between Tibet and China for centuries. This extensive network of interconnected paths and trails extended from the tea-producing regions of southern China, particularly Sichuan and Yunnan provinces, to Tibet, and even reached as far as India and Southeast Asia. The Tea Horse Trade Road derived its name from the two most valuable commodities traded along its routes, tea from China and horses from Tibet. The origins of the Tea Horse Trade Road can be traced back as early as the 7th century during the Tang Dynasty in China. At this time, tea production in southern China was thriving, and it became a highly sought-after commodity due to its medicinal and stimulant qualities. Tibetan nomads and traders from the plateau regions of Tibet were in constant need of horses, as they played a crucial role in their way of life and were vital for transportation and trade. The trade of tea for horses became the backbone of this trade network. The tea horse trade road was not a single road but rather a complex web of interconnected routes. The main artery of the trade network stretched from Chengdu in Sichuan to Lhasa in Tibet, covering a distance of over 2,000 kilometers. This route passed through rugged terrain, including high mountain passes, dense forests, and treacherous rivers, making it a challenging journey for traders and caravans. In addition to the main route, Numerous branch routes extended into different regions of Tibet and beyond, allowing for the exchange of a variety of goods. The trade along the tea horse trade road was not limited to tea and horses. Along with these primary commodities, a wide range of goods were exchanged, including salt, grain, wool, textiles, precious metals, and even cultural and religious artifacts. This trade facilitated cultural exchange between the Chinese and Tibetan people, as well as between Tibet and neighboring regions like India and Nepal. The success of the Tea Horse Trade Road was largely due to the cooperation between various ethnic groups and communities. Han Chinese, Tibetans, Wei Muslims, and other ethnicities formed intricate networks of trade relationships. Additionally, in order to navigate the challenging terrain, the trade route saw the development of specialized tools and equipment, such as the distinctive tea horse, tea bricks, which were compact and easy to transport. The decline of the tea horse trade road began in the early 20th century with the advent of modern transportation, such as roads and railways. The completion of the Qinghai-Tibet Railway in the mid-20th century further reduced the significance of the ancient trade routes. However, the legacy of the Tea Horse Trade Road continues to endure in the form of historical sites, cultural traditions, and the shared heritage between the Chinese and Tibetan people. Today, the Tea Horse Trade Road is not only a historical relic but also a symbol of cultural exchange and cooperation between different ethnic groups and regions. It has gained recognition as an important part of China's cultural heritage and has attracted tourists interested in exploring its rich history and the breathtaking landscapes it traverses.